In this video, I'll show you step by step how you can customize the quiz review options in Storyline 360 with your own feedback layers and custom right and wrong icons. Hi, I'm Mark Sperman from Purport Online Learning, where I teach you how you can create e-learning modules yourself with Articulate Storyline. And are you new here? Then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. Are you ready? Then let's get started. So of course, it all starts with a quiz in Articulate Storyline. Now I have here an example of a quiz with uh, two questions and a result slide where a user can see a score. Now, let me go through the quiz so you can see what happens when we review the quiz. So as you can see right now, we are in the Articulate Storyline preview mode and my quiz has two questions that I have to answer. So I'll answer the first question, click checkbox, answer the second question and click the checkbox and now I'm on the result slide. And here I can see uh, my score. And if I uh, are passed of our failed the test, now, the passing score was 80%, so I have failed the test. Uh, now, if a, a quiz consists of a lot of questions, you might want to give a student the chance to see the questions uh, so he can see what he has right or wrong. And to do this, you can click on the review quiz button. Now what you can see here, that this question I answered correct, is that Storyline added something, things on the screen itself. So for instance here, the, the check mark and uh, the correct layer. Now let me go to the second slide. And here you see there is an incorrect layer and also a check mark with the correct answer. And this is my given answer. Now it's not possible to change the color of the, uh, of the check mark. Uh, or the uh, color of the layer. So the first functionality that I want to show you in Articulate Storyline uh, about quiz reviews is a bit hidden. You just saw in my sample quiz that I could both re uh, could review both right and wrong answer questions. So the uh, question that I've answered correctly and the question that I've answered incorrectly. But you can also set that a student can only see his wrong answers. Now, how can you do this? This is uh, done by clicking on the review results trigger. So I double click on my trigger and you'll see now there are two options. And if I check the second option where it says review only incorrect questions, your student now can only uh, see his incorrect questions when he reviews a quiz. Now the th second thing that we're gonna change is to add our own custom uh, feedback layers in the quiz review options. Now, and how is we how can we do this uh, with the, the most simple solution? If you go to form view in a question, you see that you can give a feedback for correct, incorrect, but you can also give a post quiz review feedback. And here you can insert your own text. So for instance, this question was, no, let me, the correct answer was A. So, and now let's go to slide view to see uh, what this does. So you see here, there is now a, a new slide layer called review with, with my text and uh, a review uh, uh, and a layer. Now, and this layer uh, has the look and feel of uh, 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 a feedback master layer. So let's go to view, feedback master, and you see here the layer that is used. So for instance, if you want to uh, hide the storyline feedback options, what we can do is place the layer uh, here. And you see, yeah, there is a, a look and feel. I don't want to gonna change it because I think that's not necessary for now. We do get what I want to do. So you see feedback text. Now let's close my feedback master. Go to my slide here and I want to apply the layout for my feedback master. You see that the color is now different. So if we are gonna preview our quiz. 
So let's answer my questions. So the first one I will answer correct. And the second question I will answer incorrectly. So when I click on review, you'll see that article storyline immediately jumps to the second question because the, we uh, checked the check mark that we only want to see the incorrect questions. And now you can see that uh, with this slide layer, uh, the storyline feedback is gone or is hidden and we created our own feedback and you can see that you can customize it uh, exactly the style you want. So now let's close this preview and go to the second thing that we want to change and that's for the uh, yeah, the check mark icon uh, by the correct answer. So how uh, article shows the correct uh, check mark icon if you were going to the review results trigger and we click on it we uh, have been here with the options and we've checked review only incorrect questions but there is another option and that says show correct incorrect response when while reviewing now, when i check this one uh, you can see the check mark before the correct answer so if i uncheck this one there is no uh, there's no check mark so let's cancel this one and go back to my second slide. So what I can do now, because I have here the review uh, quiz layer, is uh, for instance, go to insert icons. Um, I want an arrow before my correct answer. And let's say this one. So what I can do now here, and I drag it to the right position. So, and I, can make it uh, green is that you can create now your own icon before the correct answer the only thing that you have to take care of is that if you uh, want to shuffle the answers then this won't work so you have to uh, use the uh, standard uh, articulate storyline feedback check mark so let's go to slide view and let's preview this scene again quickly answer the first question and the second question we will answer incorrectly and now we'll go to a review it's immediately goes to my second question so you see here this is my correct this is my answered question this is the correct question and this is the custom feedback layer so i hope you have now a good idea how you can customize the uh, review in articulate storyline and i hope this is good for your uh, following projects. Do you have any questions about embedding your Articulate Storyline course in WordPress or about Articulate Storyline in Common? Then place a comment below these videos and I promise to answer it. And if you want to create great engaging yearly in Articulate Storyline, make sure that you get my free step-by-step -step guide on how I create e-learning in Articulate Storyline. And I know for sure that it will help you because it describes my whole process that I use for every e-learning module in Articulate Storyline that I built. And was this video useful to you? Then hit the like button below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos.